So folks, it's time to get hyped because we finally are starting a season of the NASCAR Cup Series here on the channel. Now it's gonna be a short season of just four races, but we are gonna be awarding points for each race and then we'll crown a champion at the end of the fourth race. So real quick, here's an overview of the Komodo Crash Canyon. Six turns of absolute chaos and mayhem. And folks, we have just about the best series racing here today with the NASCAR Cup cars. So here's a quick look at the rules. The heats are set by qualifying, and we're going to take the top three of each heat and send them straight to the main. And the last three are going to go to a nine car last chance qualifying. And then we're going to take the top three of the last chance qualifier and send them to the last row of the main for a shot at points here. And we're only going to be rewarding the top 10 of the main points so first place gets 10 points and it's going to stagger all the way down to 10th place which will only get one point for the season standings and everybody else is just going to go home empty-handed so without further ado, we're set and ready to go for heat number one, and here's how they qualified. We got Brad Keselowski on the front row, Chase Elliott starting second, third is Martin Truex Jr., fourth is Alex Bowman, fifth is Daniel Suarez, and Christopher Bell qualifies sixth in heat number one. So remember, top three advance to the main. Here we go. Three, two, one, and they're off. So here we go down in the first hill, and it looks like Martin Truex Jr. has a commanding lead. And folks, we're missing somebody from the field. But here they go over the jump. Pretty decent pack behind him. And oh, look at this finish. We've got a car upside down, but it's going to be pushed across the finish line by Chase Elliott. We're going to need to see a replay and see who that was. I believe it was Keselowski. So yeah, you can see from the replay, Truex won by a mile. But it was Keselowski on his roof being pushed by Chase Elliott that finished second while Chase finished third and Bowman is in fourth. So yeah, looking at the whole shot, obviously Truex is out to a big lead, but behind him, Daniel Suarez gets punted off the track and falls all the way down through the double turns, and I believe he took out a hay bell. So yeah, it's going to be Bowman, Christopher Bell, and Daniel Suarez going to the last chance qualifier, and we're ready for heat number two. So your lineup for this heat is going to be Joey Logano, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson, Austin Sendrick, Chase Briscoe, and Chris Busher. And I'm not sure it's going to get any more insane than that first finish, but we're ready to go here. Three, two, one, and they're off. So here we go down the first hill, and it's going to be Kevin Harvick out to a lead, but we've got a lot tighter battle this time. And Kyle Larson's looking to try to overtake him as they come down through the jump, and oh, there trouble behind him but look at the finish nice and neat here and kevin harvick's gonna take home the victory here in the heat let's look at a replay here and yeah a lot tighter battle that time and overall just a neat race uh besides the two car yeeting itself off the jump here let's look at that and yeah that jump is so devastating to the cars actually landed on top of the garage might want to check with the people down there make sure everybody's okay but it's gonna be kevin harvick kyle larson and joey logano advancing to the main and the final three cars are gonna have another shot at it in the last chance qualifier which we're ready to go for the next heat here got a pretty stout lineup we have kyle bush Ryan Blaney, Eric Jones, William Byron, Harrison Burton, and Austin Dillon for this heat. And here we go. Three, two, one, and they're off. And here we go. First corner in. Ryan Blaney grabs the whole shot, but he's got Harrison Burton right on his rear. And as they come down through the jump area, we have a massive crash once again. And it's Ryan Blaney who takes the victory, followed by Eric Jones and Harrison Burton. And Kyle Busch was just yeeted over the finish. So yeah, we've had some really competitive racing up towards the front. And I want to take a look at the jump camera here. And as you notice, the 21 was actually in second place, but it got punted by the 43 spun around. And the 43 took second place. And we're going to need to look at the jump camera one more time here. It looks like the 18 and... 24 got into each other and the 24 wound up getting up on the curve and not able to finish there so yeah it's gonna be the 18 the 3 and the 24 that are gonna go to the last chance qualifier which speaking of it is right now so remember only the top three are going to advance to the main event. The remaining six are going to be eliminated here. Here's your lineup. We have Alex Bowman, Chase Briscoe, Kyle Busch, Christopher Bell, Chris Busher, Austin Dillon, Daniel Suarez, Austin Sendrick, and William Byron. So we're lined up at the top of the hill, ready to go. And they're off. 
massive pack heading down into turn one. It's going to be Chase Briscoe, and Alex Bowman is losing positions. But he's fighting back in the double turns here. We're looking for that third place transfer. And oh, it got really messy there. And Christopher Bill comes from the back to take home the final transfer spot there. So it's going to be Chase Briscoe, Chris Busher, Christopher Bill that are transferring in. And Kyle Busch got destroyed and flung into the garage there. As you can see from the replay, absolutely messy. Also, you got a feel for Alex Bowman who got flipped over in the jump. He was on pole position for this last chance qualifier and will not make it to the main event. So here's a look in the garage of all the eliminated cars and folks, we are ready to go. Main event time. Now do keep in mind, we're only paying points to the top 10 finishers here. So your lineup is Martin Truex Jr. followed by Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Larson, Eric Jones, Chase Elliott, Joey Logano, Harrison Burton, Chase Briscoe, Chris Buescher, and Christopher Bell. So who do you think is going to take home the victory? They're lined up at the top of the hill. Three two one and they're off for the main event massive pack all stacked up three wide looks like martin shirts jr is going to take the early lead here but blaney is battling back who's going to be able to make it over the jump here and oh it's total chaos in the final corner and look at this we have a near photo finish between ryan blaney and kevin harvick with blaney taking home the victory kevin harvick in second kyle larson third looks like eric jones is fourth and christopher busher is fifth and there were more cars just sliding over the line. What happened to Martin Truex Jr. there? So looking at the replay, we've got the jump cam. And yeah, I believe Martin Truex just over jumped the final corner and wound up flying off the track, which created a ton of chaos for a really close finish there. You could fit first through fourth under a blanket there, how close they were. But Ryan Blaney's going to take home the victory for the first race here. So we're going to have to go back and review some footage for the top 10 finishers. But let's watch that race one more time in full speed and let you guys see that glorious pack. That was actually a fairly clean race for Komodo Racing League standards. We did lose a couple cars there, but most of the cars finished. And folks, here's the victory lane with Ryan Blaney there. And here are your season standings. Like I said, only first through 10th were awarded points and Ryan Blaney has earned maximum points for this event. So this will carry over for the next three races. Who do you guys think is gonna be the champion? Comment down below and thank you guys for watching.